Hey guys, today in maths class we are going to do a theorem on the direct sum of two subspaces. So the statement of the theorem is that if W1 and W2 are subspaces of a vector space V over the field F, then we have to prove that V is the direct sum of the subspaces W1 and W2 if and only if first condition is that V is the linear sum of these uh, subspaces W1 and W2 and second condition condition is that the intersection of the subspaces W and W2 would be the zero element. So if you do not know what is the linear sum of subspaces and what is the direct sum of subspaces, I tell you to uh, see my previous video, you know, which is the sum of subspaces. It contains all the definitions and even the examples to help you understand more about the linear sum and direct sum of two subspaces. So now let's begin to prove this theorem. So now we know that this statement contains if and only if which means that we have to prove this theorem in two parts. In the first part, we would consider that V equal to W1 and W2's direct sum, it is given. And we have to prove that these two conditions are true. In the second part, we would consider that these two conditions are given and we would prove that V is the direct sum of the subspaces W1 and W2. So let's move to the proof of the first part. In the first part, V let that it is given that V is the direct sum of subspaces W1 and W2. Now this would mean that V is also the linear sum of the subspaces W1 and W2. So for those who know about the linear sum and direct sum, uh, you must know that the definition, you know, of the direct sum, it states that every vector v that belongs to the v vector space can be written <clears throat> uniquely as v is equal to u1 plus u2 where u1 belongs to the w1 subspace and u2 belongs to the w2 subspace. So you know that uh, the definition of the linear sum is that if every vector you know belonging to the vector space can be written as uh, the sum of the elements of the subspaces. So as we are given that V is the direct sum and which means that every vector belonging to the vector space V can be written uniquely as V is equal to U1 plus U2. We, can, we could also simply say that every vector V belonging to V vector space can be written as V is equal to U1 plus U2 where U1 belongs to W1 and U2 belongs to W2. So that would be the definition of linear sum. So clearly if any vector is the direct sum of the two subspaces, it is also the linear sum of the uh, those two subspaces. So with this, our first condition has been proved. And now we would move on proving the second condition that the intersection of the two subspaces is the zero element. So for this, we would use the contradiction method. Now to prove the second condition, let us suppose that we have an element V that is not equal to zero and it belongs to the intersection of W1 and W2 subspaces. So as we know that this uh, W1 and W2 subspaces are the subspaces of the V vector space. So definitely uh, any element that would contain in this intersection of W1 and W2 would also be uh, an element in the V vector space. So we can say that also v belongs to the v vector space because w1 intersection w2 is actually a subset of v because w1 is a subset of v and w2 is also a subset of v so definitely their intersection would also be a subset of v vector space so we can say that this element we take v let us say that um, it can be written as 0 plus V. You know that W1 and W2 are subspaces. So a subspace is a vector space in itself also. So which means that W1 is a vector space. So definitely it would 
um, you know, there would be an additive identity existing and in it would be the same in case of W2 subspace also. There would be an existing uh, additive identity. So we can say that V is equal to 0 plus V where 0 is the additive identity, you know, of W1 vector space. So this belongs to the W1 and this V, let us suppose that it belongs to W2. Okay, so this can be written as uh, here V belongs to the V vector space and it can be written as the uh, sum of the elements of the W1 and W2 subspaces. So this is a kind of expression of uh, writing an element as the sum of the elements of the subspaces. Now we also know that this V can also be written as V plus 0. Now here V, you know, it would belong to the W1 subspace and this 0 would belong to the W2 subspace because it would also have an additive identity. So from here, we came to know that this V that belongs to the vector space V can be written in two ways as the sum of the elements of the uh, subspaces W1 and W2. Now this simply contradicts the condition that is given because it has been given that V is the direct sum of W1 and W2 subspaces which means that every element in V vector space can only be uniquely expressed as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2. But here we are having an element that belongs to this V vector space and it can be written in two ways. So it is not uniquely expressed. It can be written in two ways as the sum of the elements of the subspaces W1 and W2 which means that this is is a contradiction this is a contradiction to the given condition and we can say that this W1 intersection W2 it only contains the zero element which is the additive identity of the subspaces W1 and W2 and now this proves the second condition also. So we have proved the first part in which it would uh, given that V is the direct sum and we needed to prove that V is the linear sum. This also we have proved and we needed to prove that W1 intersection W2 is the zero element. So this also we have proved by contradiction method. So now let's uh, move on to the second part. Now in the second part, we suppose that it is given that V is the linear sum of the subspaces W1 and W2 and that the intersection of the subspaces W1 and W2 is the zero element. So now in this part, we need to prove that V is the direct sum of the subspaces W1 and W2. So for that, we take an element V that belongs to the V vector space be any element now we know that as the every element of this V vector space can be written as the sum of the elements of the subspaces W1 and W2 because it is given that V is the linear sum of the subspaces. So we can write V as equal to U1 plus U2 where U1 belongs to the W1 subspace and U2 belongs to W2 subspace you know, because V is given as the linear sum of the subspaces W1 and W2. But now think what we need to prove. We need to prove that V is the direct sum of these two subspaces. So for that, we need to prove that uh, every element of this V vector space can be uniquely expressed as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2. Okay, so for this, we would need to prove that we shall prove that this representation of V is unique. 
this v as we have expressed is as the sum of the elements of the uh, two subspaces this represent we need it to be unique you know there uh, could not be any other way to represent this v as the some of the elements of the subspaces w1 and w2 because if it was there were any another way then that would be the linear sum and we would never be able to prove it the direct sum of the two subspaces so to prove that we need to prove that this representation is unique we cannot be expressed as the sum of the elements of the subspaces w1 and w2 in any other way so this also we would prove by the contradiction method now so for that we would suppose that if possible let v can be written as some of the other elements of the subspaces w1 and w2 okay so we are supposing the opposite that v is equal to w1 plus w2 where w1 belongs to w1 vector space and w2 element belongs to w2 vector space so we are supposing the opposite opposite so that we would prove that in contradicting way okay so now we have two uh, equations first is v is equal to u1 plus u2 and second is v is equal to w1 plus w2 so both are equal to v which means that both of them would be equal to one another also so which means that we can say that u1 plus u2 is equal to w1 plus w2 now let us just uh, shift the elements here and there uh, you know uh, gathering together the ones and gathering together the twos so it would be like u1 minus w1 because it would come on the left side with a negative sign would be equal to w2 minus u2 because this would go on the right side with a negative sign so we get this equation okay now we know that w1 you know since w1 and w2 are subspaces so you know there is a one property of subspace that if any two elements belong to a subspace of a vector space then the difference of those elements also belongs as an element to that subspace so we could say that you know if u1 belongs to the w1 vector uh, subspace and w1 also belong to the w1 uh, subspace so this u1 and w1 both belong to the w1 vector space so according to the property their difference that is u1 minus w1 would also belong to the w1 vector space similarly we can say of uh, w2 vector space as uh, this u2 element and this w2 element belong to the w2 vector space so we can say that their difference w2 minus u2 would also belong to the w2 vector space why we are uh, considering w2 minus u2 not why we are not considering u2 minus w2 because here we need w2 minus u2 and here we needed u1 minus w1 so we got here u1 minus w1 okay uh, it is the same whether you consider u2 minus w2 or w2 minus u2 both will be belonging to the w2 vector space but for our equation as according to our equation we have taken here w2 minus u2 okay so now these are the two elements that belong to w1 and w2 and these are the two elements that are equal to each other but in the starting we considered that w1 intersection w2 would be equal to zero element there would not be any other element that would contain in both the subspaces w1 and w2 but here is one element that belongs to w1 also and here is the same element because these two are equal you know from here and this the same element belongs to w2 also which means that 
this u1 minus w1 is equal to w2 minus u2 these two element they belong to the intersection of w1 and w2 because these two elements belong to uh, to the w1 these two elements are equal first of all let us consider this one element because this element belongs to w1 also and w2 also this so this is in the uh, also contains in the intersection of w1 and w2 okay but as we know that we have w1 intersection w2 equal to zero element so from this we can say that these you know u1 minus w1 equal to w2 minus u2 this must be equal to this zero this is the only possible situation where both of these equal element are containing in the intersection of w1 and w2 if these uh, two are equal to zero so from here we can deduct that if u1 minus w1 you know if this u1 minus w1 equal to zero we can say that u1 is equal to w1 okay and from here if w2 minus u2 equal to zero then we can say that u2 is equal to w2 so we get this so now we know that you know because we had expressed v in two ways first way was that v is equal to u1 plus u2 and the second way was v is equal to w1 plus w2 but now what we have with us that this u1 it equals to w1 and this u2 it equals to w2 which means we have represented v actually in the same way because this u1 is equal to w1 and this u2 equal to w2 so in actual case this v has been expressed as the sum of the same elements of w1 and w2 vector space which means that we have proved that any vector that belongs to the v vector space can only be written in one way as and that is v is equal to u1 plus u2 because we have proved this by contradiction the second expression that we had if we would fill the substitute the values of w1 here u1 and w2's value u2 then this would give the same result which means that any vector that belongs to the v vector space can only be written in one way and that is v is equal to u1 plus u2 where this u1 you know belongs to w1 and u2 belongs to w2 so hence we can say that we have proved that v is the direct sum of the two subspaces w1 and w2 so this is the second condition that we have proved so actually we can say now that we have proved that this v would be the direct sum of two subspaces w1 and w2 if and only if these two conditions are satisfied first is the linear that it would be the linear sum and second that the intersection of the two subspaces would be the zero element so hence the theorem if you have any doubt you can just ask me in the comment section that's it for today thanks